They swear to, among others, maintain law and order to protect the lives and property of Ugandans and to defend the territorial integrity of the country. They are the joint security forces of Uganda, the Uganda Police Force, the Uganda People's Defense Forces, and the Uganda Prison Service. Closest to the public are the police officers who are often on the front line, especially when managing riots, calming demonstrations, or cracking down social evils in the community. Yet, their efforts and hard work does not correspond with their remuneration. Worse still, these law enforcers have been the victims of delayed salaries since the integrated payroll and management system responsible for cleaning up government payroll was established. Until recent, their salaries for three months, including that of January, February and March, were not paid. While their counterparts, the teachers, have a platform to raise their grievances on delayed salaries, including putting their chalk down, the men in uniform suffer in silence. But for how long can a well-trained and disciplined officer resist the temptation? Ask any security expert and they will tell you that a frustrated army officer is like a stray bullet. Uh, we have seen situations where officers from different armed forces hiring out guns or being involved in acts that are contrary to what they're supposed to do. And uh, it can be attributed to poor pay and uh, delays in payment. If someone is not paid and he has a gun, first of all, he is a threat. After a day under the scorching sun and a delayed salary at the end of the month, it is possible that a disgruntled officer will look elsewhere to survive, including going against the very law they are supposed to enforce. It can cause someone to think of stealing. It can cause someone of getting corrupt. It, 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 it's, it's such a big uh, issue for somebody to fight corruption, for somebody not to be, uh, take a bribe if they are poorly paid and if they are not paid on time. This fact perhaps explains the statistics that have over the years ranked police as the most corrupt institution in Uganda by the different anti-corruption watchdog reports. Yet, to Enoch Makanga, a security expert, delayed payment and poor remuneration are not issues worth airing about for a national force which vowed to protect its citizens. A policeman or an army man should never ever, should never ever talk about delayed payment. Um, at the end of the day, he's working for a nation. He's being paid by the, by the nation. Yeah, The nation cannot liberally refuse to pay this guy. And remember, the government depends on revenues. So when there's delayed payment, that means maybe um, something is not working somewhere. But at the end of the day, this guy will be paid. While Makanga's arguments may be morally and legally right, other security quarters warn that if matters of police remuneration and delayed salaries are not handled, the future of police as a force lies in balance. If their pay does not appreciate as time comes, Definitely people will not, you know, the citizens will not like to join those kind of institutions. Amidst these arguments, one can almost agree with an old cliche that a hungry man is indeed an angry man. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.